Welcome. Hello. Hi. It happens. We make it happen. How are you? Welcome to our live. This is People's Mike. I am Jimmy, Mother F and Peoples. I am joined here by the lovely Miss Teresa Sheffield. Teresa. Teresa. Is it Teresa? Mother F Teresa. Is it? You have to say middle name, bitch. Come on. It's Teresa. But people do call me Teresa when they're like being pretentious. What is your middle name? Louise. Oh, I thought you said we had the same middle name. I, I was like, Mother Effie, like, 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 was your middle oh, name? Oh, or Anne. God. I was like, Edward? Like, Edward's your middle name? That's <laughs> terrible parenting. You know me, Ted? No. Ted? Louise. I was named yes. after um, one of my parents' next door's neighbors. They really liked her. And they're like, well, name her Louise. My first name, I'm named after Mother Teresa, too. Okay, Which is fitting, right? You see yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah, complete <laughs> opposite. You're, you're fucking <laughs> awesome. Mr. Nate Deming. Hello. Hi. Hi. They're, they're, they're going to catch the, the uh, angle, angular, angular. Are you talking about his bone structure oh, yeah, right bone now? Structure. Yeah, his jaw structure. It's pretty pointy. Yeah. He had a pointed look. <laughs> How you guys doing? That's the way my face is built. Good. Good. How are you doing? I'm staying, so staying amazing. Staying amazing. I'm alone. Um, I don't know if you guys knew it, but this guy is a professional, okay? Like <laughs> no, don't. Pre-printed questions, okay? They've seen, they got he the has questions. a microphone here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's yeah. a microphone, and there is a separate sound recording. Yeah. That's how much yeah. of a professional I, I'm is. trying to put right. my all into it, you know? We don't have a big budget, but, you know. No, I mean, it. It's a good job. <laughs> Thank I've done you. some janky podcasts. Thank, this yeah? Janky this is jankier podcast. than this? Yeah. Yes. If, hey, if you're doing a jankier podcast <laughs> than this. No, it's good to be here, man. Yeah, I've got good. a jankier podcast. Yeah, your this. podcast is pretty good, though. No, no, that's <laughs> the one that I do with Rob. I have my own that I do in my apartment. Oh, just like, I can imagine. Yeah. Talking with no beer. rules? No supervision? <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's, it's the drunk <laughs> talk <laughs> show. I just, it's yeah, my the premise, podcast. Yeah, the premise of the show is like, I bring somebody over and I get them fucking shit-faced. That's and funny. I don't tell them what the topic is going to be. And once they're drunk... I press record and we talk about a very serious political issue. Wow. Wow. How does that go? It usually... I, I've that? actually had to not release a couple you because, like, I've emailed people <laughs> the next day and been like, do you really, like, listen to this and tell me if you really want it out there? <laughs> 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 oh, wow. Getting drunk and then covering genocide. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Good idea. She's all about it. I, I've seen her with two wines in her, and I was like, she can't. Two wines? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it was two wines. <laughs> I saw you with one wine. That I was, was like, like somebody call her a cab. I had no food that day. Okay. <laughs> I had no food that day. He's like, hi. What? <laughs> How are ya? Holy cow. She's, I was like, that's just one Am one. I really that cute? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just annoying. I'm annoying the way it is when I drink. I am insufferable. <laughs> So, so you're you get angry drunk. this. This works. This yeah, more. There's, there's more. another personality yeah. besides this. No. Yeah. 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 Fuck. I just. Wow. Like, it, I'm the same way, just more intense. Yo, it's like the levels of terrorism. Yeah. It's still terrorism. <laughs> like, I'm, always, I'm, always, I'm always at a threat level. It's always at the orange. I go up to the red. Sometimes it goes to red. red. It's drunk, always yeah. terrorism. There's a reason why people don't have superpowers. Because you'd yeah. be a terrible... Oh, he's even a villain. <laughs> he's even a villain. No. Totally I'm, I'm what Kanye West looks like as a white man. Yo. But it's it's <laughs> much <told> more... <laughs> yeah. No, not fit, not physically, <laughs> but oh, like that attitude. Him. Yeah, yeah, embodying okay. yeah. white. Yeah, man. I see that. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. I'm the white Kanye. That's how I see myself, that's, and that's a very Kanye West way to see myself, <laughs> isn't it? And that's the name of this episode. Right? <laughs> right? Welcome to the white Kanye, the world of white Kanye. That's yeah. your. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, you're both comics, right? Yeah. Both comedians. Uh, give me allegedly. origin story. How'd you get allegedly? <laughs> I, 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 allegedly. Allegedly. That's, that's a good allegedly, though. Is like, it? Yeah. Like, What's a bad allegedly? Like, like a bad allegedly is uh, you're allegedly a pedophile. Is, oh! <laughs> that's a bad allegedly. Shit! If you, if you say, I'm allegedly a comedian, people say, oh, you're a comedian. I whenever mean, you, so whenever you're it. allegedly, <laughs> like if you're allegedly a murderer, people still think you're a murderer. Like, it's true. Yeah, no, you're so guy's. right. <laughs> yeah. If it's allegedly comedian, people I'm think a, you're not. A comedian. Yeah, I'm gonna start saying I'm an allegedly really cool shit, and be like, yeah, well, he does. That it's like shit. a humble brag kind of. Yeah. It's like you know, 
or the positive. I have this amazing thing, allegedly. Yeah, it's I'm allegedly a supermodel. That's not how I met it, but that's how everybody, <laughs> that's how everybody does it. that, I though. Like, that's do you, you do comedy? It. Oh, I try. Uh, yeah. So here, check out my videos. Though. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My website, yeah. Uh, hashtagjimmypeoples.com. Um, <laughs> Got a plug. Plug that shit. Plug that shit. Uh, yeah. When, how'd you get into comedy? Oh. What made you do this this shit? Um. Uh, I don't know. I've just always liked making people laugh. Yeah. I've always enjoyed that. Um, I wasn't going to be a comedian my whole life. I wanted to be a prosecutor. Um, uh, before say, that, I wanted to be an opera singer. And then I was like, prosecutor. I was like, that's my dream. whole life. That's sitting next to two people who sat on the other end yeah. of yeah. prosecutors. Yeah. Say what? Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> I, am, I walk the straight and narrow. It does. Jimmy's a good man. I am the goodest. He's yeah. the goodest. I can't even look you in the eye right now, but I am the He's goodest. the goodest <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I wanted. To, I didn't want to do comedy. I thought it was kind of. I didn't even know it was a real thing, to be mm-hmm. honest. Until yeah. I watched Thirty Rock, uh-huh. and like I saw Tina Fey as like a comedy writer. It's like comedy writer is a job. Yeah. Like I didn't even know. Yeah. And so I fell in love with it. And I was about to graduate from college, and I was doing. You know, I was doing mock trial. I was going to go to law school. I studied for the LSAT. Um, but I was also like studying opera at the same time, and I wanted to be an opera singer. So whatever. Um, so yeah, and then I was like, I don't think neither, I don't think either of these things is going to make me happy. Yeah. So I was like, uh, fuck it, and I just moved to New York because my sister needed a roommate, but she broke up with her fiance. I was going to move to Chicago oh, actually. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to Chicago and do Second City. Um, I wanted to do improv, mm-hmm. um, but then I did it because my sister needed a roommate. Oh, we have an audience. Yeah, you have an audience oh, my like God. that. <laughs> Dude, audience, you're my boring story. <laughs> Tell you about me. Yeah. Anyways, right, that's it. Now you probably. Yeah. yeah. I did improv initially, but now I do stand up. I prefer it much better. I love improv. Yeah. You guys ever did improv? Yeah. Uh, in college. No, I respect myself. That's good. Oh. Wow. Shots. That's okay. That's cool. <laughs> did you feel it? Did you? <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I don't do improv, but I respect improv- improvisers. Like good yeah. ones. Yeah. Are like, Absolutely. Fucking it's still a talent. Like, we're, like we've seen the ones who are top on on. They're amazing. Yeah. They're it's, it's, it's it's insane. insane. Some, it's, some it's shows magical. it's like, what the fuck am I watching? No, bad improv is I think else. worse. Yeah. Bad improv, I think, is worse than bad stand-up. I really do think because you're just trying so much more, and there's just more people compounding yeah. the awfulness. Because even, even bad. the bad stand-up you ever see is the still. The improv shows at the creek in the cave. I haven't. I've seen good ones. I've seen, they do Kaleidoscope. Uh, I like I, wa- I watched one of them for like a minute and a half, and I was like, holy shit, I, I, can't, I can't be in this room. Like, oh man. It's like a feeling, like, you ever seen the movie The Room? Yeah. You know, the, like, when you're watching that, like, somebody made this and they were fucking serious about it. That's what it feels like watching the improv shows at the Creek and the Cave. <laughs> like, it's like The Room on stage live in front of you. <laughs> Listen, a podcast would be complete without some shit talking. Yeah, Shots of fire! <laughs> How'd you get the car? Tell me, tell me Jimmy! Uh... <laughs> Why well, are you and Jimmy? Oh, yeah, hold on. I, th- yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I had a shitty childhood, bad no parents, shit. No regular shit, shit no like shit. St- stuff that you'd expect me of too. a comedian. Me too. Yeah, that's, we all did. That's why you do this. Um... I don't know. I, I did music for a while. Uh, I was in like a semi-successful band, but then our drummer died. Wow. That kind of threw a wrench in things. Always the drummer. Yeah, always, always the, the fucking drummer. Died in a drunk driving accident too. Fucking how? Like that's like some VH1 shit yeah. right there. Yeah. But uh, you know, I tried a couple of different bands after that, and it didn't click. It didn't work. But I still wanted to keep doing entertainment. And uh, what did I you know. do in the band? You play an instrument or sing? I played guitar and sang and wrote all the songs. Wow, you were the yeah. John Lennon. Yeah. Fuck, fuck like, that. Yeah, yeah. I was. I was the Kanye of the, of the band. band. <laughs> <laughs> Did that tell you this? I'm white Kanye. That's going to be a new band. He's white Kanye. White Kanye. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm going to sell commercial flex to one day. But, uh... <laughs> Fuck it, yeah, so, like, I got into comedy because I didn't want to leave entertainment, but, I mean, like, music just kind of felt dried up for me, and I did, I, I'm from the Philadelphia area, yeah, like you, yeah. and, you know, like, when you get on stage there, it's a lot different, like, there's a lot more hecklers, it's of kind of like, before you even, you have to struggle to get people to care that there is a show, and once you have their attention, there's a second struggle to get them to stop being angry at you 
that you have their attention. Oh my so, God. like, you have to be really fucking funny to make it in Pennsylvania. That's why you moved here. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes, you owed me that one. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, so, like, <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, I, I came through that, and, uh, I was, I was doing a lot better than a lot of the other comedians at my level, like, there aren't that many. Like, I'm from Wilkes-Barre, it's, like, near Scranton. There's only, like, I think between the two cities, there's like 400,000 people. Mm -hmm. So there's only like 30 comedians there. Yeah. So it didn't take long to rise to the top of that. And then it's, it's a poor area. You can't really go anywhere. It's like entertainment is the first thing that dies in a shitty city. Right. Like you're from Wilmington, yeah. Delaware. Yeah. So you know it's like From? Fucking, no, I, oh, I live you there. Live there. <laughs> yeah, you know like yeah. a place like that, like mm -hmm. the first thing you see go, yeah. entertainment. Absolutely. And uh, it, it was try. just... They try, they try so yeah. hard. I the tried. last thing to go... Yeah, I went. I went. <laughs> I, was in, I was there and I, I went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just so hard to put anything together because you can't get people out, you can't get people involved. You know, it, it, then you have just the, that wild card of like maybe a crackhead will walk in and yeah. start throwing shit at people. Absolutely. Like you, you never know in a place like that. So I moved to New York to do comedy up here. I've been doing it here for about two years now. Nice, cool, wow. good talk, good talk. Um, hi, what, what's uh? How did you get to comedy? How do I'm I sure get? You probably said this all my the yeah, no, my role to comedy is weird. It, it was it was a bunch of uh, little things that said I, I wanted to get on stage. Like uh, uh, the first was probably watching Deliri Delirious, uh, and then uh, I woke up one morning and my mother had was schizophrenic man depressive, and she woke up with a knife to my throat, and they uh, the uh, Richard Pryor album uh, was that name's crazy. Mm -hmm. She was like, the demons want me to kill you, but uh, they told me you're going to be one of the funniest comedians, so I'm not going to kill you. And then she just walked out the room, and they put her in the hospital. So I was like, I'm not funny. And then it's, it's one of those... <laughs> My mom was schizophrenic, yeah. too. I never met yeah. anybody else with yeah. schizophrenic. Oh, well, there's a Small lot of comics. There's a Small lot of comics. <laughs> but uh, you you grow up with that, uh, that uh, I want to go faster mentality. Mm -hmm. It was like, you think that's... You know something you want to do, so I've been doing like entertainment ever since. I was in a, I was a radio producer for a comedian, and I was writing jokes for with him for him for the show. And he was like, "You, you're a great writer, but nobody's gonna respect you until you get on stage." So uh, I went on stage at the Laugh House in Philadelphia in '99. Um, for the first time, and uh, there was some great comics there. Wow. Kevin Hart was there, and. Uh, Killing, oh killing, and uh, I went you up. You were like in elementary school. I, he's yeah, so young. yeah, 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 he's super young. young. I, I was, I was young. super young. <laughs> and uh, uh, I don't even remember what I did. I remember there was a cop who had harassed me that day, a uh, female cop, and she was in the audience. And uh, we did some things that night. And uh, I was like, if this is what comedy is, I'm all in. Oh, and that's not what comedy has been. But <laughs> that, uh, but yeah, that from there. You know, and that's so cool. Two weeks later, I had a car accident. Didn't do comedy for about twelve years after. So oh was shit. Did you have to relearn how to walk? Yeah, I had, a, I, had a, I was paralyzed for two years, and I learned how to walk and lift and use things. And yeah. did, did you have like uh, brain damage or anything? Uh, no brain damage. It was all from the waist down. So oh, I, shit. I, uh, um, I was I was paralyzed. You sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, well, definitely, I had brain damage before from football, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, those concussions were nothing. Um, yeah, just, uh, just, uh, yeah. That's fucking crazy. I'm so interested in the fact that you learned how to walk again. Yeah. I have a lot of questions. Yeah. Look at her uh, taking yeah. over the interview. <laughs> so All right, Barbara <laughs> Walters, show us what's up. Yeah, so do it, interested. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, uh, so, like, when you learn how to walk, uh -huh. like, when you're a baby and learn how to walk, like, you don't remember that, and, like, you don't, like, the moment where you're like, oh, my God. I think I because I was so, like, as soon, the hard part was getting the feeling back. It was like that, uh, that, uh, Kill Bill scene, where she was, like, moved the toe, I had this, uh, this, this, uh, Miss Turner, Pastor Turner, they, they would come and pray over me. What was happening with the, there was like this, I don't even, this is what I, I don't, what they, there was like this war between churches at the time. Like some churches, like like, and they were fighting over who could pray over me. <laughs> I don't know. 
Where was this? It's in uh, Kingsport, <laughs> Tennessee. It's like in the Bible. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no. yeah. Is so, that where you're from? No, no, that's where we had the accident. So were they opposing, like, was one a Protestant? Was I don't know like, whether it was, there, were, there was a, a black, two black churches and one white guy church, and he was like, I just want everybody to get, I, I don't know, but Pastor Turner. Why couldn't, like they just all pray? Why couldn't they just all pray? Why couldn't they just all pray with each other <laughs> over here? No, they had to come at different times. And it, it was... It was uh, it Cutting was, in on my I got, a, I got a lot I own, of... <laughs> I own all the paraplegics in this Yo, hospital. Yo, I got a lot of prayer. But she, she did one prayer. I, I feel like... I don't know if it's the drugs that I was on, but it was, it was like the day before or something. I don't know what the time period was. But uh, she did this prayer, and as she was praying over me, I felt my body... Like, like, transcend into like a, this pool, this lake of, and there were two fishes in the lake, and like two large koi, one black and one white. And it was so real, like, I smelled the water, I smelled, I felt the water, I was standing in the water, and uh, this before I got feeling back, and they were just circling around my body. What? And, and what? the bluefish. Were you on drugs? Obviously. I'm, I was definitely on drugs. Okay, but, cool. but the bluefish ate, but it was so real. It was, it was, it was like, and I, I, like, I heard her voice praying, but I wasn't in the moment. Like, I, I don't know. And then you got your feeling. And I, I felt like the next day I felt the toe shake, you know, which is. Which, Where is this woman? Uh, I believe she's still alive. I talked to her once in a blue moon, and I wanted to get one of her prayers on tape I was gonna before say. she passed. But I know she's she's up sure. in her eighties. Like she, I think she's I've seen her. Like, super powerful. Like, she's super powerful. Like like old, old, old school prayer. So that my dad's a pastor. Yeah, so I a grew up with all, all that shit. Yeah. yeah, your dad's a pastor. Yeah, my dad's a pastor. Wow. So how was that like being like the father of the pastor? Um, he expected a lot. Well, my mom was a schizophrenic drug addict, so I had like two entirely different imposing Whoa. forces on my life. Divorce. No, no, they were together. together. But my mom, my mom spent like most of her time in her room. Like she'd just take drugs until she fell asleep, and then wake up and take more drugs and then sleep. Yeah. And that was her life. And my dad worked ninety hours a week. So the person who mainly raised me was my grandfather, and he was like a gangster, and he just yeah. he's what created this. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of gangster? He was an Irishman who didn't really belong to any gang but would do anything <laughs> he, that, he would do gang. anything for money as long as it wasn't a legitimate Hold job on. I think yeah. the literal definition of gang <laughs> he was a one man gang no. no he was a one man <laughs> gang alright he was the original the Kanye gang. <laughs> the original white Kanye yeah. I know I was like wait I thought Kanye was yeah. the original Kanye <laughs> no no this this is the spirit that transcends <laughs> That the spirit of Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. so cool. Yeah. yeah. So. Can you eat koi? Like, do you have like a spiritual experience when you like eat fish? Um, I eat a lot of fish. I I don't eat koi. I don't know if you could eat koi. You probably could eat koi, but I don't eat koi. Uh, but I uh, I'm partial to fish. So because I'm a Pisces, I don't know. I don't know. Because you're a Pisces. Yeah, Pisces. Maybe I had that fish. had that visual. I don't know. No, I eat fish because it's good for you. And I like fish. You're fucking healthy. <laughs> no, he's so healthy. Like, he yeah, doesn't eat anything. Yeah, I know. No. I never I see you true. eat food because I feel like you have your own stash of shit that you make. All the time. Not you have now. Do- you have dollar pizza that now and then. Yeah. Does God. he? I mean, you're all, you're always down on West Forest Street. Dollar pizza? Pizza? A lot. A lot of people. If I'm on the run. Yeah. But I work out every day. So it's like, yeah. What's your workout? Don't you train people too? Yeah. Yeah. I train, I train some people. Some people. Some people. Some people. Some people. It's, about to, it's about to step it up a level. Hi. Hello. How are you? You're, you're a comedian? Yeah. What is your name? Peggy O'Brien. Peggy O'Brien, how are you? This is the podcast Peggy. still. We'll get started Sweet. in a Mark minute. Britain. We have Bill Petit. You see how this... The, yeah. This is a small audience today, but it's an audience, all right? Um, what is pissing you off, uh, politics mm. or non-politics, about this country right now? Hey. What's pissing me off? Be gentle. Be gentle. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't, I don't There's so many things. I just feel like I don't know what's going on. Like I just That's feel like I don't recognize <clears throat> this country right now. Like I don't recognize these people coming out of the woodwork and they have like these huge followings. And like, when did this yeah. happen? How is this who we are? And like, no. how has this become like a thing? Yeah. Like I just feel very confused and I feel very displaced. That's how I feel. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
Uh, He's telling me to be gentle. So I'm try- I don't have tact, and I'm trying to develop it in this moment. I think that people are split into two very extremist groups. And I think that the more each group digs in their fucking heels, the more they, like, polarize off of each other, like two, po- like two fucking positive magnets. So, like, yeah, there are more, like, white supremacists than ever before. But look at the fucking Democrats. Like, there's just no rhyme or reason like some of them are socialists and some of them are communists and none of them know what the fuck either of those words mean they just they're just like i follow the party and whatever the party supports i'll do that yeah. and they like they were willing to support hillary clinton and she's not and, and, and you, you, I, I've, I've heard you speak before <laughs> but what i've never heard i've never heard anybody agree with you it's like when I saw Bill Petit, Bill Petit said, Amen. Oh I said, you have a follower, I've right? Never, That's how white Kanye gets started. Everybody agrees. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen I've heard I've heard words come out of your mouth That's and I've so heard funny. reactions of people, but I've never seen an agreement in person. I agree. And he was uh, he said he, he clicked it in real life. He liked it. <laughs> he liked it, followed it, and subscribed with well, one you, swoop. Man. And I've never seen that. So yeah, no, I think I think it's just like people are pushing off of each other, and I think it's going to keep getting worse until people people have to have adult discussions with each other, and nobody fucking does that anymore. Yeah. People just nope. That's the American nope. I know what I know, and fuck what you think. Like I think everybody's like fifty percent wrong about everything, myself included. I'm, whatever I believe, I'm probably like really wrong about certain parts of it, and I think you need to. Listen to the people that you don't like and don't agree with, and maybe they'll have some good points, and maybe they'll expose some of your hypocrisy or some of your stupidity, and maybe you could do the same for them. But people don't want to have that dialogue anymore. It's like, it's fucking sports. It's my team. I'm a Democrat, and I will vote for the Democrat candidate, no matter... They could fucking poison all the oceans, and they could fucking kill everybody in Istanbul, but I'm a Democrat, and I vote for the Democrat candidate. It's, there's nothing progressive about that. That's regressive. Yeah, I I I, I stand by. It. I feel like um, Trump is just the distraction. You know, mm-hmm. the, to whatever we're missing something, and and I don't know. I feel like it's aliens sucking something out of the center of the earth. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but they they need to distract us from something, and they're doing a good job. Because I don't, I don't even. I, mean, I hate that I get my news from Facebook, but I was like, as long as Facebook's still there, it's okay. Well, that's why you know? I don't, I don't bother with like the Trump news because like no. I feel the same way about Bush. Like people would always be like, listen to this stupid thing that Bush said today. Meanwhile, we killed three thousand yeah. people yeah. in fucking Iraq that day, and that's not even on the news. Yeah. Like, fuck Donald Trump. It's like just Fox? it's it's. it's like jingling keys in a baby's face while you're trying to take its food away. Look Absolutely. over here. Yeah. Look over here. That's all it is. That's all it is. And, and they are taking our food away. Cause... Did you know there's no apples in oatmeal? Anywhere? or like? I mean, there's, there's, no, there's no real fruit in oatmeal. I didn't know that. Are you talking about the dried fruit? Why no, the dried fruit. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, he's good shit. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, the oatmeal? Yeah. Yeah, I, no, I didn't put apples in there. Huh? I don't put apples. No, the, the, you know the. Are you talking the, about the, the packages? With the packages. Yeah, yeah, but it's never been real. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought it was real fruit. No, no. If something says if something says blueberries, I expect there to be blueberries. What is food. it then? It's it's no, it's uh, apple with uh, purple food coloring. It's apple chunks. So wait, it oh, is so, an apple. But it is. Like I mean, I meant to say, I meant to say, it's, it's all apples. It's all apples. That that was my point. It's all apples. Yo, dude, There's dude. no strawberries in it. When they say strawberry, oh, fruit, everything is apples. It's all apples. Oh, oh, oh and, interesting. Yeah, when they say banana, it's just apples with banana flavoring. Was this like one of your questions that you? No, ever yeah, had? we'll get to that. But but I my uh, my my I feel like that's all that politics is. Politics is just apples with with fucking food coloring. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like that. So you like that? See, ah, fucking. The thought is there. I was like, how do I get them back to my thought? That makes sense. Uh, yeah, it's all. It's I agree with that. I like that. It's all apples. I don't like oatmeal though. So. Yeah, I love oatmeal. I, uh, uh, I feel like healthy people love oatmeal. I love oatmeal. Yeah, I eat right? fucking cheese like sticks every like day, man. I'm not healthy. Like cheese oatmeal? sticks? Yeah. Oh, oh like you're gonna oatmeal? die. Yeah. Oatmeal? Oatmeal? Yeah. Looks like a grits guy. Are you Why a grits guy? 
Those, 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 the frowns are like, yeah, I eat my grits with eggs in the morning <laughs> and, uh, and whiskey. I just don't know why you'd eat oatmeal when there's like cookie crisps and like, like fruity pebbles. Like, why would you eat that shit? Sugar on it. It's good. Uh, oatmeal's good uh, for you. Okay. I also don't eat breakfast. So why do you eat some like fucking it. grapefruit in the morning? I, I eat, I eat grapefruit. Better for you? Pineapple? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, right, you want to eat, it, let's do, let's do <laughs> one of these. Pick one. What's your favorite word? Moist. No, moist. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is moist in here. Uh, yeah. I don't have a favorite word. I don't have a favorite word. I don't believe you. I do love the word fuck. Of course. I can I see that. That's word. Yeah. Fuck. It's a great word. I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. I like a lot of words. <laughs> yeah, I like a lot of words. <laughs> I, <laughs> Favorite word might be indecisive. <laughs> no, I have a. Uh, I just like words in general. Like I have a pretty wide vocabulary. I uh, I grew up in an area where public schools weren't really well weren't really like well funded. They didn't teach you a lot, and then I got kicked out in seventh grade. So everything that I know, I basically taught it to myself in the library. So I had the advantage of focusing all of my attention on things that I really cared about and not having anything else in the way. So I learned a lot about grammar, and I just wanted to speak well. Like, I looked at all the people around me in my neighborhood, and none of them knew how to speak well. And that was something I always saw as important. Yeah. So I like words a lot. <laughs> I don't have a favorite word. Though. Just like all of them. Yes. I just like learning new words. Like English language is crazy, because it's not like, oh, it's not like other languages. It's just a mashup of, like, every... Mm -hmm. Like we have French words, we have German words, we have Spanish words, we have Latin words. It's just a mashup of a bunch yeah. of different languages. It took the best parts. Yeah, it took the best parts. We say no, you're. We don't like the way you're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> what um, uh, you are. This was a male. Fuck. Apologist. Feminist? No. Are you apologist? <laughs> Apologist? Are you an apologist? Well, an apologist means like I agree with your views. I am like I'm an I'm a male apologist in that like I feel for the issues that men face. A men's a men's right activist. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I'm not yeah. an yeah. activist. Are, I don't have like a are, side are you, in the street. Okay. Like because we were having this discussion, he was like, are there men's rights? Well, I wouldn't call myself a men's rights activist. I don't, I think, I don't think that there's women's rights, I don't think that there's men's rights. I think there's equality, and people just need to frame it as equality. I mean, it's, it's, again, meet in the fucking middle. Hear each other out. I, I, okay, here's what I think. I think that everyone should be proud of who they are, whatever that is man or woman and they should be an advocate for whoever who they are and an example for that as long as it doesn't like fuck with anyone else so like if you're proud to be a man fuck yeah that's awesome as long as it doesn't like oppress anybody else I don't know you I don't know yeah. your life but like that's my view oh I'm perfect that's great you're 50% wrong about that <laughs> <laughs> I you were that. here for the callback. <laughs> this is this is, this is uh, white Kanye here. Uh, <laughs> That's his new band. Another name. joke you guys took it. <laughs> but here's, here's a question I had. If you if uh, do you agree with uh, transgender bathrooms? Yeah, I do. Gender neutral bathrooms. Yeah. So just don't go in there if you don't want to fucking go in there. Okay. What so do you think? It I, like you don't I feel do. I feel it's it. There's a double standard, like. Because I have been blatantly using women's bathrooms and then coming out and then finding women were pissed because I was in the bathroom. I've used men's bathrooms. I would be fine with it. For like, me and, but I've also, like, like in most cases, in, one, in one case, I was, I, was, I was in the bathroom and there was a lady next to me. And uh, she had pretty feet. I don't know if that matters, but we were just pooping at the same time, you, having like, a good. I am a foot guy. That's <gasps> gross, oh man. God, I'm an ass. I Okay, if somebody on. asked me to touch their feet, it, but it's oh. more common than I ever. Knew. I like massage your feet. I'm not. I'm not a no. foot mouth guy. <laughs> no. I mean, it depends on if, no. if they're really cute. If, if, if a bitch puts her if feet I, if, on my body, it is over. I don't like. I've never I don't like. Her. I don't like anybody's feet near my food. But <laughs> I don't know why that. Put a cute foot in your mouth. 
Oh, sometimes. Yeah. Fuck sometimes. Out of here. No. Some like once Yo, in the blue. Listen, like like I saw. Like, like what yeah. you like. But, uh, like, but no, I like massage your feet. Not on your burger. Not but not feet. near my food. Like why are your feet near my fucking bottle? <laughs> like why are your it's feet so near funny. my food? It's so and then you just like it's, it's girls like bounce their foot, like do that cute bouncy foot thing, and I'm like, this is never gonna work. That's this, so interesting. But I'll rub a foot. Do you like foot cleavage? I know some people are really into that. In the toes? I like playing between the toes. Oh, no, like box shoes. Like it's disgusting, like man. Put a fucking like, lint in there. Like it smells bad. It's all like sweaty. Foot cleavage? It's just got this like gook buildup. No, you it's disgusting. You need to do foot cleavage. You <laughs> will. You're like an archie. <laughs> she pet me. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't think cool. women should be mad if I go into the bathroom. Well, it's not. Okay. Transgender... It's, like I, you, you'd I, rather a guy dressed up as a woman. I, I, don't, know, I don't know. You guys, tell me about it. Like, I don't know how many transgender people you know, but they're not going around like trying to like fuck with people. It's more about themselves more it is than anybody else. And like, I think it's really obviously you guys aren't transgender, so yeah. the idea of you going into a woman's bathroom is a very different experience. Than a but gender neutral doesn't mean it. everybody, right? Oh, but, I don't like gender neutral. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't go in there. I mean. It, like a unisex, it's a, it's a bathroom, we're all doing the same shit. I've, I've used yeah. the bathroom with like transgender people and it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Like you can tell but, uh, someone's but, uh, a fucking creep yeah. and they're just going in there to like be disgusting. Yeah. Okay. And if it's a person who identifies as that. I, I, I just don't like, I don't when, I, when, I came, when I came in her bathroom, she was like, Ugh. I was like, I thought, I thought we were fighting for something here. I thought <laughs> we were fighting for a bathroom for everybody. It was a gender neutral bathroom. Yeah. It was just a bathroom. I you went in the woman's bathroom? Of course. Of course. But, but, but like this is the thing at the crux of everything. They're saying like gender is just a construct. So yeah. Jimmy should be able to use whatever bathroom he wants if it's just a construct. Absolutely. Like, that's, that's my, my that's caveat, my that's caveat with this thing. whole that's thing. My caveat with this whole thing. Gender bathrooms are not like agreeing with like gender is just a construct. If you identify as something, this is a transgender person identifying as a woman who wants to go in the woman's bathroom. All right, but that's... You don't identify as a woman. I just go to the I just go to the But listen, listen, listen. listen. <laughs> I wasn't going to see anything. There was somebody in the men's He's bathroom. He's like, I want this I for a bit. Basically, <laughs> why you said that? But it's the copy. <laughs> it's all for a bit. It's all for the bits. <laughs> I do it for the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Until very recently, being transgender. <laughs> what time? Um, what if I three twelve. Oh, having the runs. Yeah, right, so. nice. <laughs> what, what, what if I identify as having the runs? I'm like, I don't care who, yeah. whose gender it is. I, Absolutely, I, I, I gotta go. I, I'm cool with transgender uh, people, but here's my thing. Until, until, until very recent, until very recently, that was classified as a mental disorder. It's called gender dysphoric disorder, yeah. and they would treat it. Jimmy, look what you did. People, I know. I Jimmy, people, people, people who suffer from that <laughs> killed themselves far more often than anybody else in society. Anybody else. Well, look, and it doesn't matter if people accept them or not. They still just kill themselves because it is a mental disorder. Because it is a mental disorder. It doesn't matter if people accept them It was in the DSM-4. They removed it. They drafted the DSM-5 just a couple of years ago. And this is the first time in history that this mental disorder is not included in the diagnostic manual that doctors use to Root, diagnose or mental or disorders. Or do you really it's personal so you, towards them. You are saying <laughs> doing them a favor. The, uh, the blackmail complex is also a mental disorder uh, but and, and if somebody yeah. if somebody was if somebody was schizophrenic if schizophrenic and you told them the voices are real all that shit to go whatever you think just do it that would be fucking hurtful towards them you wouldn't be doing them any favors so let's do what that. is the difference Let, I, I, I got a question that we'll save for the mic um, let's do this one and then we'll close out uh, room desk or car which one do you have sex on first That's, I changed the question Room, de- what do you mean, room? Room, desk, or car. What do you mean, in a room? Or like, uh, on a room? Can you have sex on a room? I don't know, of course you can have it in, in a room. room. In a room. Because you can have sex room. on a desk in a room. Room, you have sex right? in a car on a desk in a room. Definitely but, a car. I mean, it'd be the sexiest, but like, what, the also room? the most inconvenient. A car? The real oh, question is, is which one do you clean first? But, oh, I saw that. I yeah. <laughs> like your, I like your sex I like, version like the sex version better. Obviously it's always car. The what car. do you guys think? It's Duh. So it depends on the car. I like also. having sex on... Six four. I can't have sex in a car. It depends on like I like having sex car. on the roof of my in car. In a car or on a car? I've had sex with both. So. I you're like tall, a car. I and like a check bed. Huh? That's you're tall. Great. You're like as tall as I am. I, I keep, I keep an inflatable mattress in my car, so we put it on top of the roof. 
No, but I mean in the car. That is like, literally a tall guy. But I have a, also have a, uh, uh, a trailblazer, so flip all those Dude, things. It's still a bit. Listen, <laughs> when you get as much ass as him, like, you don't have these contingency plans. Okay, how oh, do yes. I fuck? <laughs> oh, this is a fuck. I have only buy fuckable cars. They, you can't buy a car, you can't fuck it. I love when it's like, I'm six foot four, so I can't have sex, and it's like, what's yeah. other reasons why I can't have sex? <laughs> we all just heard them. <laughs> No, 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 no. Kidding, I'm wait. a psychopath. I have an amazing wit. I am really good at convincing people that I'm a better person than I really am. You've never Were fucked you just anybody. Doing that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to convince yourself first. Yeah. It's like, am I a good person? All right. Um, where can they find you online? Uh, Twitter. I'm obsessed with Are you Twitter. a Twitter? Oh my god, Twitter. I fucking uh, love Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> uh, my Twitter handle is at Terfleza, T E R F L E A Z A, with a childhood name. Um, so that is awesome. <laughs> uh,. Also, Instagram. we have a show, by the way, that oh, you guys should fucking Ooh, come to. Uh, plug your show. Yes. I just did the show. My co-host is here. Come on over here, Josh. All right. My co-host face, Josh Cuss is producer is here, and he's like the fucking best. Jeff McBride. I'm the best. I don't he's know if you guys are. <laughs> yeah. And our show is awesome. It's every Tuesday at the V Spot. It's called Late Night Wrong. Late Night Wrong. Night wrong. And we book some good every ass comics. Every Tuesday. Yeah, like, yeah, it's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Great show. Uh, website. Um, Teresa Checkville.com, also late night for the show. Hell yeah. Bougie! Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. What do you got? What do I got? Twitter. I don't have a fucking Twitter. Get your shit together. <laughs> Instagram. I don't have an Instagram. Fucking loser. <laughs> Facebook. Uh, Facebook, just Nate Deming. Nate Deming website. I don't have a website. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm, I'm building a website. I tried to make it the I'm whole purpose of this podcast was to shame Nate at the end yeah, of it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Nate You're is a loser. piece of shit. He thinks he's a good person. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Pinterest. You I can't just say that. Like, no, please. I don't have nothing but Pinterest. But I do. I have Nate Deming's Drunk Talk Show. You can look it up on YouTube. That's my podcast. And I run the Nasty Honest Bushwick Comedy Show at Those the Cobra Club in Bushwick. Yeah, real stuff. Right. You do stuff. Yeah. But you don't have anywhere to promote it. Oh, I promote it on Piece Facebook. Word I don't... of mouth. Piece of yeah. Jimmy People's Podcast. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, you can find this on iTunes, Google Plus, uh, YouTube, you Blog that Talk Radio, you all that. That's uh, how it's done right here. Hey. I'm just. Ambitious. Uh, <laughs> Deviant Art, you can find me, Jimmy Peoples. Uh, uh, Twitch, Jimmy Peoples. Uh, no, you, know, uh, <laughs> you know what I did? Because I, I like the website. There's a, there's a site called noem.com. Um, and K N O W E M.com, where you can put your name in and get all your social media platforms. Oh, that's great. Oh, you've yeah. never heard of that. Social yeah. media, man. Huh? What? Huh? What was the name of that? It's uh, K N O W E M dot com. But yeah. most importantly, you can find Jimmy on Bumble. Yeah, yeah. Bumble. Uh, Soul Swipe yeah. and uh, Soul Swipe. Little People Meets. Disaboom dot com. All right. Thank you guys. Give it up for them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Another episode. Not a fucking head. Thank you guys very much.